Hi guys, it's Luton here and I'm joined today by Snoov and we haven't done a video for a while but today we're going to be discussing uh, Battlefield quality, particularly Battlefield player quality and I did start a Reddit discussion about this one, had a lot of good input but um, I think I wanted to make a few videos about this, I've got a few planned um, I'm going to do some with other commentators discussing this whole topic because I think it's quite a big topic and I think it's quite an important topic not just within Battlefield but within the context of FPS and perhaps gaming in general as well um, and I'm going to do some with some other subscribers because I got some really interesting feedback today from people saying that you know they were new to Battlefield this was and some people saying this was the first FPS they played is Battlefield and they really struggled uh, one of the most interesting things I think I found today from my discussion and the topic that I started was is Battlefield broken is it a point where it's so bad at the moment because the player quality has decreased so much but yeah the most interesting thing that I found was these new players people who have literally joined Battlefield for the first time. They've never played a Battlefield game. They've never played an FPS game. They've just come straight into it. And the thing that universally they were saying was that they found it so difficult to understand what they had to do in the game. They said that the single player doesn't really help you in terms of multiplayer understanding. The information and instruction that is given to you one of the guys said that the you know the instruction booklet that comes with the game has almost no information about multiplayer in terms of what you're supposed to be doing um the tips that are so i mean there was a there was a guy from dice actually commenting on one of the videos today i think he was a battle log dev and uh, he was going, oh, well, you know, there's little tips and stuff when you're joining multiplayer. But again, you know, we all know how silly those are. They're, they're, they're kind of, you know, they're, they're laughable. They're just little tidbits of information that have no real relevance in multiplayer at all. And, you know, and what, you, you have to play like 30 games to catch up all those little pieces of information? It's ridiculous. Um, but I'm going to bring Snoove in here now. So, you know, from what I've said and from what you read today, what's your kind of opinion on this? And also, to sort of finish on my point there, what do you think about these guys struggling to get a, a foothold? I mean, you know, they need some way to help them out play the game. Imagine if you came into the game with having never understood it before. You, you know, it's like jumping in the deep end, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And, and what you're what you're describing that people are struggling with sounds exactly what happened with me and Bad Company too. I got into it, I don't know, almost a year after the game had been released, and I didn't have a freaking clue what was going on. Coming from Call of Duty, I was like, okay, I want to try something different. Saw Bad Company was real cheap, jumped into it, and I just I I, I couldn't get into it because I was so far behind. And it's not easy to understand than you know like compared to call of duty like call of duty's uh, menu system to me is it's very intuitive it's it's easy to follow um everything makes sense it, it's easy to go through and um you know uh, customize your gun and all that stuff with battlefield it's a little bit more difficult to that and then with call of duty you know it, it is a team-based game but it doesn't have anywhere near the emphasis that battlefield does and battlefield if you don't work as a team you're not going to have anywhere near as much fun as you would if you were you know, working with your actual squad. And two, it's just it makes life very, very difficult because all your spawns are based upon your squad mates. Absolutely. So, um, I, I can definitely see why people coming into it now, like this late in the game, having never played any Battlefield game, I, I can see why it's definitely a struggle for them trying to get into it. Yeah, and you know when you think about games like COD and stuff like this, they're very, very different because they have a completely different map size and scale. When you go to Battlefield, the scale of the map increases tenfold. And that alone can be quite intimidating for people. Um, I'm not trying to compare the two games, but what I am doing is saying when you come from a different game and you come up to Battlefield, it's a completely different situation. It is completely different. And for that reason alone, it, it can be very intimidating. People don't really understand, you know, what it is they're supposed to be doing. And there's a lot going on. Um, you know, I remember and I've heard from people that if you think about how chaotic some Battlefield games can be, when you go over to other games, they can be almost very sedentary in, term, you know, in terms of what's actually happening in the game i mean i had a an excellent round of battlefield the other evening and i was trying to get to an objective bloody you know helicopters crashing out of the sky and then this buildings coming down and there was a tank right next to me which exploded and i was literally running through all of this flames and smoke and particles and buildings and people firing and grenades throwing and you're just running through all that going ah like unless you're a battlefield veteran and you know exactly what your objective is and you know exactly the map and you know where you're going and what you're supposed to be doing that could be unbelievably disorientating for a new player to understand what's happening and you can really imagine people trying to sort of 
of run forward and then just getting lost and then whilst they're trying to figure out where they are bam they get killed uh you know and you often see these guys when you're playing you see people just kind of walking around in the open and you're like yeah they're going down bang bang <laughs> you know um but I, I think we really do need some way of helping these new players and the thing that i find bizarre is that i i honestly think it's it, it can't be that difficult really i don't think it can be that difficult um people like myself and yourself and level cap and matimio and and all these really excellent youtube battlefield producers we spend a lot of our time making tutorials on how to do things tutorials which if i'm completely honest should be provided by developers i really don't understand what the issue is if it if we can spend a couple of hours making a very comprehensive very good video like any of us because i would classify everyone's videos within those that group as being you know good quality and and well well read and well understand i'm just going to mention as well like in the works media and dascro all of these people who make intelligent well commented videos and if, if we're making this stuff why can't developers do it they've got a insane budget uh, and we're doing it almost just as a hobby you know a couple of people doing it for their jobs but most people are doing it just as a hobby and uh, i find it ludicrous that they cannot find the time or the inclination to make any of these kind of videos and the developer guys today he said oh well you know if people aren't going to look it up on youtube he said what makes you think that if we were to implement something into the game that people would use it well what 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 is that what is that kind of excuse that's ridiculous um just imagine okay on your menu screen right below multiplayer on the main menu you say multiplayer training or something like that okay you click on it maybe it gives you a couple of small levels where you have to run through a couple of things and maybe then they have a selection of videos which says like conquest overview rush overview and then it might say conquest capturing or you know vehicle or, or you know vehicle combat or it tells you like you know the basics of things so like the basics of vehicle combat or the basics of defending or all these kind of things anything that is just going to give people a heads up a give them you know some basic understanding before they actually jump into it things like okay I'm, i remember right one of my videos that i made one of the first videos that i made about a year ago was for battlefield o, the website and i made a video literally just talking about the um the support boxes so medic ammo all these kind of things i just made a video talking about them i also in that video described what the icons represented um, on the minimap I tell you that video got thousands and thousands of views I, well, you know Snoop come in here for a minute and I'll just find that video I want to see how many views it's got now okay yeah no I, I definitely hear what you're saying and now that you mention it like I never actually put thought to that and I'm actually dumbfounded why is it that people haven't put these things in like I, I can especially see it on PC gaming or PS3 because I know they've got uh, all the space in the world, especially for PC, but uh, I know they can fit a little bit more information on um, a Blu-ray disc. Like, why can't they make a very basic video, like just a five-minute tutorial of, you know, for, like you said, go to multiplayer menu and then just, um, you know, for beginners, call it whatever. And you go through that, it's just a simple tutorial, and it could be even interactive. Like, you know, okay, so this is where you find everything in the game. Here's where you customize your soldier. Here's where you customize your guns. Here's how to go through it. Now let's practice go through and pick an attachment for all three tiers blah 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 like things like that it's like your equipment and every time you you actually select it be like okay good on to the next step yeah and from there you know then you could go to like a little firing range thing where they'll give you a set of targets it, they actually had something very similar to that in call of duty um and it was the um oh my god i can't remember what it was but it was like l that little uh training course where you can run through and shoot all the targets uh -huh. and people were trying to set you know like the world record time for getting yeah. through it and all that crap yeah. so why, why can't they have something like a combination of the two you know one of the tutorials showing you where everything is in all the menus and just breaking it down making it very simple uh and, and then from there just a little target thing where you can figure out you know how to melee how to crouch and duck because it's not always the same on everything and then you know your aim down sights and throw grenades the whole nine yards like they, they would i can't imagine that would take more than a week yeah, sure, sure. You wanted to make it look incredibly professional, yeah. maybe two weeks with a team of guys. But that's it. That's all it's going to take. Yeah, but look at things like IGN, GameSpot. They turn out these things all the time. Um, you know, IGN's done some amazing series, and literally all it takes is a few interviews, a few bit of research, some music, a voiceover, cut it together, you're done. It's literally a week. I'm sure for, for each video, a week. And you, you're telling me they don't have the people or the time to do that? I'd do that and give them the videos, you know? <laughs> Seriously. Um, and also, just a little heads up for you guys. 
videos. So I was looking back at the Battlefield OTV, and actually some of these videos are not on my channel. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. At the bottom of this, I will link the Battlefield OTV YouTube channel, which I have to say is now closed. It's, it's not open. It doesn't run anymore. But that's what I originally posted on. And you can look back through some of my original videos. They're quite sort of different to the ones I do now, just in terms of audio quality, I guess. But for example, okay, just picking numbers here, um, I did a video, Battlefield 3, Know Your Unlocks, Squad Specializations. And I said in this video, we look at the squad specializations, what they do, how best to use them. So that's the one where I'm talking about each class and all these kind of things. That's got 26,000 views, all right? So not particularly high. Uh, I did one about smoke, 13,000. Unlocks, Medic and Ammo Kit. That's the one where I'm talking about why you should drop them and why they're used. That's 19,000, nearly 20,000 there. Um, but then to give you some other idea of numbers here, I did a video about the Soflam. This was very, very early, 11 months ago that was. Now you unlock Soflam, 117, nearly 118,000 views on that video. Um, and there's another one here was nearly 50 something, nearly 52,000. So, you know, these videos are watched by people. That's the point that I'm trying to make by quoting these numbers here to show that people watch these videos in numbers. There are people who want this information and it's really important that we give it to them. So if people are coming to YouTube to watch this stuff, that's one thing. But it shows that people want this stuff and they're watching it. 117,000 views, that's not an insignificant amount. And also I would like to say um, that I believe, just off the top of my head, I think the ECM video that I made which went on to Pixel Enemy, I believe that that had got 100,000 if not 200,000 views. And I'm just going to check that actually. And again, it, it, what we're showing by that, this is not to quote and up myself, this is to show that people are watching this stuff in massive numbers, which means people want this information. They're seeking it out. They need it. And if, if I'm providing it, why is DICE not providing it? You know, 100, 000, even 100,000 people, that is a lot of people. I wholeheartedly agree. So uh, one of the videos I just recently did was for Medal of Honor. Um, when I got into it first, just in the beta, I'm sitting there like, wow, you know, this this menu is kind of elaborate. There's a lot going on, and it, it wasn't very intuitive. And you know, for someone um, my age, not that I'm old or anything, but you know, I've been playing video games for like over 20 years. So you'd think that some things would be intuitive, and maybe it still is. Maybe I do get through things a little bit faster than people normally would because I I just kind of had that feeling for where things should be. Uh, so I was able to pick up the menu system fairly quickly, and I, I, I realized that a lot of people were still complaining about it. They're like, "Ah, oh, man, I can't figure out how to do this and stuff," and there's so much crap going on. And I was talking to Fake Thriller about it, and I said, you know, I, I think what would be really good is to go through a video and just break down the whole menu system because it, it's, it's, I guess it's not that intuitive for most people that they really, it, it's not that easy to figure out right off the bat. And he was skeptical about it. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead because this is good. This is informational stuff. You know, a lot of people that come on and play, they're, you know, a lot of these kids are younger. They don't know where to look for all this stuff. And maybe sometimes people are just too impatient. Not that that's a bad thing. I'm <laughs> just as impatient as yeah. the next guy. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it, granted, it's, you know, I got 7,500 views on that video. Um, it's not that much, but it's enough. You know, it, can, it, it did better than almost all our other Medal of Honor videos. I know there's not a whole lot of um, hype surrounding the game. So, given that, I think that's a pretty good indication. I got a lot of likes on the video that it, it's helping people. It's just, it's taking all the guessing work out and just being able to make it very cut, dry, and simple for someone to go in and say, Oh, okay, so that's exactly where I can do everything. Good, you just saved me 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes even of me screwing around trying to figure everything out. Yeah, and I th just to come in as well, I found that video and I, I found the amount of views. My ECM video, the one that I took, a, I, I think I took like four weeks. Obviously, I wasn't doing it every day or anything. It was just that's how long it took me to gather all the information, do all the discussion, put the video together. Right now, 214,000 views on Pixel Enemy. And also that video got put on Battle Log as well, as we know. Now, you know, are you telling me that that does not help and it does not show that the community needs and wants this kind of thing? The other thing that I've thought recently as well is that, well, one of the comments I regularly get on my videos when I often make my kind of how-to description tutorials about tactics or the, is that they're too basic. And I get comments from people saying, oh, you know, people, everyone knows this. Why are you doing this? And they sort of say, you know, I want to see some, uh, I want to see some professional sort of elite tactics. I want to see advanced. That's it, advanced. They say, I want to see advanced tactics. Advanced tactics. What the hell is that? You know, if, <laughs> if you're at the stage where you need advanced tactics, 
work it out yourself yeah i'm not here to to give advanced (laughs) tactic tutorials yeah if you're at the stage where you have a really strong understanding of all the basic elements in the game then you should be at a stage where you can work out your own tactics you don't need advanced tactics and by the way they're advanced tactics honestly what the hell is that um i I think when they ask for advanced tactics at that point, they're just looking for different ways to approach the game. So yeah. it's not necessarily something um, completely new and above level that they're like, oh my God, I can't wait to be that good. It's just a matter of, holy crap, I did not think of it that way. Yeah, it's true. I mean, but, the other, someone said to me the other day, one of the other comments I had the other day was, because um, I was asking for, oh yeah, I, I did... Uh, well, I did a couple of videos, I can't remember what it was specifically, but um, I asked people if they had specific trouble with different MCOMs or different situations in game, and I said, you know, give me examples, I'll find them and, and break them down for you. And one of them was, uh, what's the best way to attack the first base on uh, Rush Grand Bazaar? Because they said, oh, we always get spawn camped, which is the right route to go down? The trouble is, there is no real answer for that. Um, you know, Rush Grand Bazaar, that first base, is incredibly hard. And literally, my solution is generally to just drop a ton of smoke and run straight up the main road. I don't go to the left, I don't go to the right, because they're just usually bipod bottleneck death traps. So uh, the road is nice and wide, you've got a better chance of getting to that point, and hopefully as you get to the end of the road, you can split, go in at the same time, cut them up, blah blah blah, grenade, and, and that's job done. But it's literally a case of just running up the road. Now that's kind of one example. And the reason why I do basic tactics, basic tutorials, and actually the more I've thought about it, the more I want to do you know, those more often. I want to do those in preference to perhaps other things. When you think about, if you look around on YouTube, often trying to find quality, basic instructional videos is not that easy for several reasons. One, I think that people don't want to be overly simplistic and they also don't want to do the kind of hand-holding video where they go, this is what you do and you run over here. You know, they don't want to do those kind of videos. They want to do stuff where they're going, look at me, I'm killing 20 people with one magazine. And they're like, you know, go and they're jumping off buildings 360 uh, or, or they're just showing rounds where they like dominate with a helicopter or a tank or whatever and they go like yeah I'm the boss and all this crap you know trying to find really quality basic videos is important and it's also important because understanding the basics of any game and any multiplayer game is really key once you've got the basics down you can handle most situations and the key issues that I keep finding in games at the moment regularly are people's observation is poor okay they don't spread out they don't watch they don't mark and so generally what happens is they get flanked from one side or another people just run straight through them I've seen situations where there was six guys in one space recently people just run right through them and they didn't even get seen um other things that they don't do are obviously your, your standard things like dropping medic boxes and blah blah blah. That's not such a big deal because that's going to happen all the time. But it tends to be these kind of basic observational things. The other thing is the classic one of BMCOM gets armed, the entire 8-9 guys runs for it, they leave the other one completely undefended, that gets taken, a couple of people push up and run in and then you know, whilst they've gone to that MCOM, because everyone's so busy trying to defuse it, all the defenders that were around that area come off of their positions that they were in, they don't stay disciplined, they don't stay on the line and then of course all the guys who are pushing up have got no resistance whatsoever. So even though they do manage to get it diffused, then everyone just gets killed by the 10 guys that are running straight at them, then they arm that second one, then the base is gone over it in a literally a matter of minutes. And it's all happened because people just, you know, collapsed their defence and just fell apart completely. So that's why I think basic videos are really, really important because once you have got that basic structure in place, it's you can just build on it and you start to understand the game. And even things as simple as just describing game modes talking about okay what is conquest what is rush what's your objective people i've seen this week commenting to me why should i play the objective you know they were saying what's the point i mean you're there to have fun you're there to do whatever you want to do in the game my answer to that would be why would you go to a football game to just watch guys like you know (laughs) fighting each other on the ground or something like that you know it's (laughs) you go to a football game because you want to see two teams and one is going to win that is the point of playing you know a competitive game and whilst battlefield 3 is not necessarily always going to be competitive the idea the whole purpose of the game is to win that's what it's designed to do now people may have their own agenda when they're in game they want to get more kills than anyone else they want to be an awesome jet pilot or something but the main focus of that game at the end of the day is to destroy the objective and i think that's what often people can lose sight of and i understand that people always want to you know do what they want to do in game and that's great but you can do that and still work towards an objective. And if you don't do that, I just think it it really does make the game fall apart. And that's why I think getting people to understand the basics is the most important thing.
And it's one of those when uh, Battlefield 3 first came out and we were just starting to kind of learn what was going on. That was one of the things we wanted to focus on was just teaching people the basics. I, I mean, yeah, we got a lot of comments from, you know, veteran Battlefield players that were like, this is stupid. I already know this, blah, blah, blah. Well, it's like, okay, well, this video is obviously not for you then. There are, you know, you're not representative of everybody that plays. There are a lot of people that don't understand those basics. And if you want to be a really good player at whatever game it is that you're playing, you need to understand those basics before you can move on to, to that higher level of skill. Um, so, you know, I, I'm all for doing those same kind of videos because it, it is. It's definitely helpful. And some people come into it and they, they don't think about these things that others just pick up right off the bat. It's like, oh, my God, I didn't even think to do about that. You know, if I had known that, I, I could have been going positive this, you know, positive this entire time instead of been, you know, getting like five kills and dying 20 times every single freaking game. Yeah. So it, it is important that... Um, getting out the basics to people and, and having something that they can truly rely on with, you know, good solid information. Those are always phenomenal videos. And like I said, there are obviously a lot of veteran players out there that know all these things. Well, these videos aren't for you. If you know it, then don't watch it. Wait for the other videos where we actually, you know, show you some good teamwork and maybe a different way to attack the map. But there are still thousands, hundreds of thousands of people out there that don't know these basics, uh, the basic information, the just, from the ground up of how to play the game. And I, I don't think as well, I, I've kind of, on a couple of my discussions, I sort of had the inclination that it was more about a general decline in the quality of players. I think now that's not fair to say. I think it's more to do with the fact that there's been a lot of new players uh, to FPS and a new players to Battlefield. And also remember that gaming is expanding almost exponentially now. It's getting bigger all the time. More people are getting access to really good internet. More people are getting good access to systems that they can play on. And it's just growing more and more. And I think when you see that, you obviously get a lot of new people coming into gaming. It's easy for people like you and me to sit here who have been playing games for 20 years and we've been playing FPS for 10 years or more. And, you know, we just know these things inside and out. So it's not even something that we need to think about but for other people you know they will be coming in fresh they'll be coming in new they really will have no understanding that's nothing to be ashamed of because everybody starts at some point but obviously when you have those different levels of experience it's going to reflect that in game i get unbelievably frustrated now even in games that we win um which is ludicrous um i, I played games this week and i was almost going i was i was really losing it because i was just going you know yes we're winning but I really, I just can't handle the sort of mistakes and elements that I'm seeing in game. And people just say, oh, well, you know, that's just how it goes. But I really don't think that it is. I mean, do you think that this is uh, just to do with the timing of Battlefield, the amount of time it's been out? Or do you think that it's showing a kind of greater trend of just quality change overall within gaming, perhaps because the fact that it's expanding? What do you think? I think it more has to do with uh, they're, they're, being, they're being very successful in pulling in more players even this late into the game. And because of that, we are seeing... I agree with you, man. I definitely have noticed myself a decrease in the quality of players. And some of them are just sniping, and others, like you said, they just show a complete lack of discipline uh, and common sense when it comes to playing the objective. You know, one MCOM goes off, and everyone but, like, one guy bails. And then you watch as half the team, not the entire team, half of the attacking team rolls in, and they take the other MCOM. It's like, okay... That was easily avoidable. What the hell happened here? And it is becoming steadily worse and worse. I think a lot of the veteran players who, you know, have put in 150 plus hours on this game are starting to bail because it's, you know, a new, it's that time of the year again where all these new games are coming out and people are starting to branch off, play some other games and, and tone back on Battlefield a little bit. And, you know, now the same thing's happening in Battlefield. Battlefield is that, that new game, you know, quote unquote new game for people that are trying to get away from their other games they've been playing for the past year. Mm, it's true. I think it's kind of interesting. I think it's interesting to understand these things because then you can help avoid these things in the future. Bad Company 2, from what I've heard, has had a much better, you know, it's, it's kept some really good players and the quality is good. Obviously, a little bit more difficult to keep those kind of games going because of the amount of players playing them. But apparently, it's been not too bad. I think that's kind of interesting because I think what it shows is that when a new game comes out, obviously, you get the really strong players stay with it for quite a good amount of time, probably for a good six months or more something like that they get their time and then they move on obviously to another game however you do get this kind of strange period where there's maybe new people just discovering the game but maybe because the price drops or whatever you know they couldn't 
afford it initially, the price goes down over time and new people come into the game. And also you've got the DLCs and stuff which may win people back or make them think, okay, now the game is worth getting completely. Um, but then, you know, that yeah, you get this period where the, the, the hardcore, the proper gamers are not playing for whatever reason. But after time has passed and things, they may return and go, yeah, you know, this game is really good. I want to rediscover it. I want to replay it. And also those kind of median people perhaps move on to other things. Now, I think it's kind of interesting with Medal of Honor. Um, a lot of people are talking about Medal of Honor. I know Fake Thriller has been talking very excitedly about Medal of Honor. Um, are you excited about Medal of Honor? Yeah, uh, to be honest, my excitement is building. Um, there's still <laughs> a little part of me in the back that is hesitant to accept that it's going to be a good game. Um, at this point, I'm just I'm very hopeful yeah. that it's going to be better than a lot of people seem to think it's going to be. Well, I'll tell you where I am on this. For one thing, I'm really hoping that it draws away a lot of the kind of <laughs> not so good quality players from Battlefield, so that we kind of get a more. That's harsh. I don't mean that to sound the wrong way, but you know what I mean. I I, I hope that it draws away a certain uh, group of of players from Battlefield, just so that we see slightly more balanced, more objective games come back in. And I, I think there's a real chance that could happen. Um, that might be a very selfish reason, but so be it. Um, but um, when it comes to Medal of Honor, I would just literally say on this, uh, from what I've seen and from what I've heard, it seems very generic. I've watched quite a bit of gameplay from it. Uh, I didn't play the beta, obviously, because I think that was Xbox only, maybe. But um, I, I haven't played it myself. But I have watched plenty of gameplay and I've looked at it, analysed it, listened to different commentators on it and I've, I've spoken to people that I know who've had hands-on experience with it and as I say I've also read reviews, there's been reviews in the news, haven't been that great, it's been kind of generic and I have to say from the gameplay that I've seen it also looks very generic. I really, do you know, the last one as well, I'll tell you what it is for me, It's it sits in this bizarre no man's land between Battlefield and Call of Duty and also between Ghost Recon. It kind of sits in the middle, the kind of Bermuda Triangle of those three games, where it's kind of trying to be one thing, but it doesn't really know what it's trying to be, and it kind of just doesn't quite work. And I, I, for me, I'm not trying to be down on people, and I'm not trying to say that it's definitely going to be a failure, but I think that people really want like a new FPS game to play until these other things come along. And it's also a very weird time to release it, you know? Because it's like... Battlefield, the new one, is not going to be out for quite a long time. And then you've got Call of Duty coming up. And it's this kind of strange stopgap to kind of... It's an EA <laughs> stopgap between the next Battlefield, you know. Uh, anyway, that's my thoughts on it. Do you think that's fair to say? Or do you think I'm being unnecessarily downbeat? No, it's fine. I mean, I, I know a lot of people and um, aren't too stoked on it. Um, and I understand your reasoning behind it. That's, that's kind of like that little nagging feeling behind me that it... You're just getting too it's hyped just, up. Yeah, and then it's kind of lacking um, substance, like that, that what Battlefield Three has. Um, I don't know. I, I still think it has a lot of potential, though. Like, I, I totally understand where you're coming from, and mm. you definitely have um, a very, very good argument against it. I could be wrong. It could be fantastic. People could pick it up and be like, "This is game of the year," but uh, I strongly doubt it. I wouldn't put. I wouldn't bet money on it. I'll tell you that. <laughs> no, you know, even if it's. Best case scenario, I don't see it being game of the year, no, but no, I do see it being a very good holdover from, um, you know, where we're at right now from Elise to Battlefield 4. That's even. what I mean, though. This is what I mean. It's a stopgap, and it's like, I, if I was going to make it, if I was going to make a game, I'd aim higher than a stopgap, you know. It's... Well, I mean, a one-year release is still pretty good. I mean, I, I would put a stopgap mm. as, like, it's good for maybe upwards of six months. Yeah. And maybe a little less than that. That would be a stopgap where I could... You know, take like a, a three to four month break from playing Battlefield and just play the shit out of uh, Medal of Honor and be like, oh my God, this is great. And then be like, okay, wow, there's literally nothing left to this. It's boring. It's not being fixed. I'm done. Okay, I can go back to Battlefield 3 because I truly miss it. I've been gone for a while now. That mm. would, to me would be, uh, that's how I would define a stopgap. But if it makes it a year, I would consider that a successful title. I mean, Battlefield 3 has made it a year for me to the point where I, I don't enjoy it anywhere near as much as I used to. I still have fun, but it's it's not the same. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I think this is kind of an interesting piece to end on. I'd like to hear your thoughts, guys, about the whole kind of timing of games, when new games come, when new games release, how that affects the player base. I mean, what do you find is the general time in which players come and go from games? When you buy a game, a multiplayer game online, how often will you stay with that game for a significant amount of time? What what kind of time period will you put on that? Look forward to hearing those thoughts. But yeah, this is what we've been talking about today. We've been talking about player quality, the decline and decline of player quality in Battlefield 3. As I say, I've got some more videos 
is coming up on this. And also, at the moment, I'm looking for players who are new to Battlefield. I'm looking for a couple of guys to do a discussion with me. I've got a couple already. I'm looking to get a team of about sort of four people to have a little discussion. And I'm not going to be looking for them to be YouTube producers. If you've got a good quality mic, that would be helpful. Um, but really what I want are people who have joined Battlefield in perhaps the last six months. Um, I'm looking for people who maybe didn't have the easiest time getting used to the game. Um, preferably people who maybe didn't even have play experience with a ba an FPS before. People who have just got into Battlefield, they would be absolutely fine as well. So if you guys want to do a discussion with me, talking about that topic, talking about the difficulty or ease at which you adapted to the game, I'd be really interested to do that. Look forward to your comments as always, guys. Please do whatever you feel is necessary if you like this video. See you for some more stuff very, very soon.